Hi everyone, Lady Botcher Angela here, again with the second round of this. Uh, warning, there is fire in this tutorial. This is going to be a couple accessories that I want to make for decks and then just kind of revamping Rin's mantelpiece here. Uh, I did get in this uh, black powder pistol. <laughs> um, it's more one third scale, uh, just to be like a handheld pistol, but it's a bit big for decks. So uh, I made it, basically I just kind of switched it from a pistol to like a shotgun because <laughs> it's a two-hander. So yeah, I didn't want to have to waste it because it's really cool. I think it's like an iron cast or something. So we're going to start with Ren's cape and all I did was rivet in some leather pieces for a belt and yeah, I, I just cut it uh, in a way that I thought was flattering on her. <laughs> um, but yeah, I not very much different, but just enough. So here is the holster for the pistol. I'm just taking it and I'm going to rivet on the belts, one on the top, one on the bottom, give them buckles on those. And then I just sew on the holster for the, for the pistol. So You'll see here that I have riveted in the holster onto the belts, and then I just sewed down the side. <laughs> That's all I did. Um, this is a bit top heavy, so I will have to kind of make a modification when I do put him all together and just basically tie this to his belt um, on his waist just to keep it from tilting out uh, away from his body. So other than that, I think it turned out really well. So, yeah. So the next thing I have is Dex's pauldron. His, I just made a little sketch here and I did a pattern just really quickly, just from a piece of scrap paper. And I put it to his arm, his shoulder. And yeah, uh, I did not make this out of leather because it just wasn't going to form right. So I used foam. I did use leather for the belt part alone. That's it. So I placed these together in a scale form so overlapping basically <laughs> I used my hole punch and then I riveted everything into place and yes I am using uh, a lighter to basically shape the foam into a shape that I really like for him and that looks flattering on him as well so I just rivet everything in and then I paint it in the bronze color that I painted his shoes and then of course I weather it with black dry brushing technique so yeah that's all I really did uh, for this one it's not a whole lot but I think it it had to be done because I really wanted to up their character modifications a little bit um, the next one will probably be a little bit later as I have some stuff coming in uh, for face-ups and that kind of thing. Uh, and the next one will probably be the clothing. I might do his wig and stuff off camera just because it's just really boring, I think. <laughs> um, just watching me put hot glue on a wig cap. <laughs> so, so yeah. So it'll be kind of a surprise. So yeah, that's all I really did. I did, to keep this part down here that I'm touching, is I just put in some embroidery thread just to wrap around and tie on his arm a little bit later. So that's all I did, you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. I will be back soon, hopefully, with some face-up stuff. And yeah, hope you're having a great day. Thanks again, guys. Bye.